In Power Civil North America, there are several ways to create a roadway. Uh, the first way would be to simply reference in an alignment. The alignment would consist of the horizontal and also an active profile. So we see here the active profile exists. We use the mini toolbar. And in this case, we'll say apply linear template. Linear template uses templates produced by the template library. In this case, we'll hit the Alt Down button and we'll select a template. We'll use the basic two lane urban roadway. We'll accept it. We'll set a starting station and an ending station. We'll data point through the dialogues, give a sweep angle and we'll let the corridor process. This creates a corridor. Subsequently, the user can then come in to use the cell technology and create an intersection. So they would come in and pick the civil cell. And in this case, we'll use the T intersections, basic T. We'll read the prompts and select the secondary road center line, the through road edge of pavement. And when it mirrors or the image appears, uh, note we have arrows to change direction on either of the two elements if we're not oriented correctly. In this case, we're oriented correctly. So we'll right click, we'll follow the prompts, reset, and we'll accept the cell placement. With this in place, we can then make any adjustments to our corridor by using the element selector and we can move or reposition the corridor. It's advisable that we would use our snaps and snap the corridor to the center line of the cell. And what this does is it allows us to uh, make a change. Perhaps we come into our cell and let's change this to 60 feet. And we'll see that the corridor will or should update with the cell and it in fact does and of course we can clip out our corridor for our through road now another way we can create a corridor is going into our project explorer civil, civil standards we can go into our road center line or any similar feature and we can uh, go into the center line properties and where we want to go next is into the uh, linear default settings and there is a place for a uh, corridor template and we can actually pick out in this case we have a two lane rural and next we open up our general geometry and we need our feature definition toggle bar. So when we toggle this on, we'll get this bar that we see here. And what we want to do is use the feature definition template and come in and drill down into our roadway center line. So that is the feature we added the template to. And then we'll come into our horizontal geometry. And in this case, I'll use a complex by PI. We could also use complex by elements and complex existing elements. Our command we can come in and use the complex by PI and we'll use the active feature and also create 3D automatically. And then we'll come in and draw our corridor and it will process into our design using a best fit algorithm and this of course can be easily profiled by highlighting the center line picking the profile from the mini toolbar and we see our profile